Hey guys, it is June 27th and we are going through Timber Ridge and Compass Point. Um, there's been a lot of development here, a lot of action. This is Compass Point's newest section and uh, there's lots and lots and lots of building going on. So I'm gonna showcase some of that for you here today. Uh, first, we're gonna make a right up here at the roundabout and that is gonna go into the Timber Ridge Estates section and the road across from Timber Ridge Estates. Um, so you can see here, there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of building. Um, we've got several, actually we haven't started any of our estate homes yet, but we do have the Bar family right here, uh, which we'll be starting. And then um, we have several more coming up. We have the Whitmans up here on what, 115. And then we have the Schneiders on lot 117. Uh, the Whitmans are gonna be building a shock for banks and the Schneiders are building a Albemarle Sound. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then our Cape Lookout model is over here on the left. Um, that's located on lot 131. That is a model that is open and available to tour. Um, so we invite you to come and see our model home. You can see there's a lot of activity going on here. And then over here on our left, we have the Himes and the Harborside, the former model. It is no longer a model. Charles and Barbara are now living there. Chuck and Barbara are now living there. And then we do have a future model coming up here. This is gonna be the Regan residence. Um, that's gonna be on Portsmouth Island. Um, on our right, we have the Harbor Town 3, this is a future model home that's gonna be a lease back with Steve, the Dondero family. Um, so that will be, when it's finished, it will be a model. Then we got the Bean Cardi family building the Port ha Point Harbor Canton there. Looking forward to that. And then um, on the street also, there's a lot of activity. That's, uh, these two are not ours, but the next two are gonna be, there's the Linders Cape Lookout. Then we have the Bazzini's uh, Harbor Side. There's the Leeson's Harbor Town right there. That one turned out really well. And then Marisol's is right across the street, um, which is beautiful also. right up here and you see the Baral family they have moved into their Fort Fisher Cove on the right we do have the Campbell's Orton Creek under construction and then we have a completed Cape Lookout that one turned out really well and then next door, it's a home under construction. And then we have another Cape Lookout, that's Tim and Teresa's, and that one turned out really, really well. That one's beautiful. See, there's a lot of activity um, right now Compass Point does have one home site available it's home site 120 um, available for purchase and they are working very diligently to um, get the other home sites ready because we do have a lot of demand and um, we have a very limited amount of land available to purchase um, so I know that we're working on that so stay tuned with your community specialists and make sure that you stay keep in contact with them so they can keep you top of mind whenever that land does become available. It's amazing how quickly this neighborhood tra transforms and all the people that live here now. Uh, just you know, two years ago, there was nothing out here.
up here on the right, this uh, grayish brown home, that's gonna be Jack and Karen's Cape Lookout. Uh, it turned out really, really well. And then up here on the right, this white house is gonna be Maury and Kathy's Shackelford Banks Courtyard three car. Turned out really well as also. And then up here on the right, we do have Susan Tavila's Harbor Town 3, which is absolutely beautiful. We're working on the pool in the back. It's gonna be a really, really nice house. So we're really excited for Susan. And then once we go through this roundabout, we're gonna make a left. See, there's a lot of, a lot of people coming and going through here because it's a lot of activity. On the left, you do see our former Cape Lookout model. Um, you may have walked through that house at one point or another. Um, that was a model for a while. And then up here a little bit further, you'll see our former Fort Fisher Cove model. Um, and that was a great model for us also. And then next to that, we do have a Cape Lookout. Um, that one never made it to be a model because we sold it before it ever became a model. Then we're gonna make a left up here and we're gonna see two, three finished Cape Lookouts and a Point Harbor under construction. see there's very few uh, vacant lots left um, almost everyone built right away uh, I would say this is probably the fastest growing community or neighborhood in Compass Point that is the Point Harbor right there that's the Stingers uh, they expanded their front porch on that one which looks really nice the Robinson's Cape Lookout is here on the left um, right across from the Duraco's Cape Lookout love that dark blue and the white the contrast is really pretty Up here, we're gonna make a right. There's that, uh, the knees, shock for banks again. Absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice presence to it. And we've already been through here. That's Jack and Karen's house there on the left. It's like a maze driving through here with all the construction traffic. We're gonna make a right up here eventually. And then we'll see the Crylings Cape Lookout on the left. there on the left you see the Crawlings Cape Lookout. As you can see the Cape Lookout was a very popular model here in Timber Ridge. It's a beautiful day here in Compass Point today. It's about 90 degrees, um, partly cloudy. And we're gonna make a right up here on the Safflower.
again, there's that uh, Cape Lookout and the Fort Fisher Cove next to it. Now we're turning on to Brown Bark Circle. Lots of activity on this street. And up here you'll see Jeff and Kelly's um, Cape Lookout. It is the only Cape Lookout that has a front load garage. So that is a unique feature of this home. And uh, they're uh, gonna have a really nice outdoor patio out back. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And then we're gonna make a left up here on the East Timbercrest. <clears throat> In the background, you can see the Compass, new Compass Point uh, Clubhouse. So that's overlooking the 18th fairway. Now we're gonna make a left. On the sweet sassafras. We have quite a few homes that are construction down through here. On the right, you're gonna see the Calabogue. Um, that is going to be a leaseback. We're looking forward to having that as a model for a year. So if you're interested in the Calabogue, we will have one of those that you can walk through. And then we also have a Cape Lookout here on the right. Um, we also, so we can't go any further because the road is blocked, but we do have um, a Fort Fisher, and then we are building a Woods Cove. It'll be the first Woods Cove in um, Timber Ridge. And that's gonna be the Williams. It's gonna go right in between those two brick homes there. There's so much activity that we can't get through. <laughs> All right, we just have one more road that we haven't seen yet, and that is gonna be Grassy Meadow. So we'll go back down to uh, Safflower and make a left. There's that Cape Lookout model again. Again, that one is available for walking through at this time. And we're again, we have Timber Ridge Estates here on our right. We're gonna make a left up here onto Grassy Meadow. On the corner, we're building both of those homes. We have Bruce and Ivory's um, Shackleford Banks alternate, which has a balcony off the back, which is really nice. And then we have our former Harborside. Uh, that's Chuck and Barbara's home right there. And then down Grassy Meadow, uh, we built this beautiful um, Harborside. And I'm really happy John and Melanie actually were able to buy that. I worked with them for a few years and they did not have to go through the build process. They actually found a home that was perfect for them. And you'll see that harbor side up here on our left. It's the white with the wood accents. Absolutely beautiful. And that concludes our tour of Timber Ridge.